Small business owners need to make sure that every penny counts when it comes to their marketing and advertising budgets. And one method of advertising that works well for many of them is paid online advertising. It allows you to have complete control of how much you spend and when you spend it, and depending on your business, can often provide you with a very clear and easily measurable ROI. But this type of advertising isn't right for everyone, and there are a few things that you should understand before signing yourself up. The lingo can turn into an alphabet soup pretty quickly, so here are the ABCs of PPC advertising. PPC stands for pay per click, but the term is often used to broadly describe three basic types of ads, CPM, CPC, and CPA. CPM stands for cost per thousand and means that the small business will pay a certain price for its ad to be shown 1,000 times, whether or not anyone clicks on the ad. CPM is about impressions and nothing else, so if you haven't done your homework to make sure that you're targeting the right audience and showing an enticing ad, it can be a bit like pouring money down the drain. CPC stands for cost per click and means that the small business will pay a certain price each time someone clicks on its ad. CPA stands for cost per action and means that a small business will pay only when someone clicks through its ad and completes a particular action, which could be completing a registration form or making a purchase, for example. As you would probably guess, the payment on a CPA ad is higher than payment on a CPC ad because fewer people will complete the action than will click on the ad. When tracking the performance of your ads, you'll be looking at things like CTR and conversion rate. CTR stands for click-through rate and is the rate at which people who see the ad actually click on it. So if two out of every hundred people that see your ad click, then your click-through rate is 2%. The conversion rate is the rate at which people who click on the ad actually convert. And a conversion can mean any action that you want to track, from an email address submission to a major purchase. This type of advertising tends to work best for small businesses that can target effectively. For example, those within a small niche market or a specific geographic area. The more targeted the group to whom you show your ads, the more likely it is that they will turn into customers worth more than the cost of acquiring them. It can also be helpful for small businesses working on their search engine optimization strategies because they can quickly determine the best keywords to focus on based on paid ad performance attached to these keywords. Make sure that you track the performance of any ad campaigns so that you can see if the ROI is worth continuing or expanding the campaign or if you should shut it down. Keeping track of and analyzing the data from these campaigns can be tedious, but you have to do it to have any hope of being successful with online paid advertising. I hope this helps you make sense of the terms flying around as you begin to explore paid online advertising as an option for your small business. Remember to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter for more tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news.